Hey, good morning. Hope you're having a great Friday. Aaron Loy here with our lead teaching pastor, Justin Lett. And of course, it's Friday, so we're here to share some encouragement with you. Some fun stuff today, convicting stuff, right? Here's a song we're going to sing on Sunday, and I think it'll get us set up for what Justin has to say for us this morning. I will build my life upon your love. It is a firm foundation. I will put my trust in you alone. And I will not be shaken. Holy, there is no one like you. There is none beside you. Open up my eyes in wonder. Show me who you are and fill me with your heart and lead me in your love to those around me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I needed to hear those words today. So, uh, <laughs> So let's open with a little bit of confession, okay? All right, let's do it. So on the way here, my very commute to this campus, I got stopped at a light. And at that light, uh, there was a car in front of me that was a dead standstill. But the light was green. Mm. And so inside of me was just a fury of activity and response, reaction to this whole scenario. And outwardly, I let him know it uh, with my horn, though not as violently as what was going off in my head. And as I left that scenario, the Lord immediately took me to this passage. I want to remind you of what it says. It says, the acts of the flesh are obvious. Impurity, idolatry, hatred, discord, jealousy, fits of rage, selfish ambition, dissensions, factions, and envy. And he goes on. And he says, though, so I say, walk by the Spirit, and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, self-control. Truth is, I realized that as, as I came through that light, I have had this happen to me a million times. In fact, twice last week, I was sitting at a light that was green, and my wife said, hey, the light's green, you can go. So what has offended me is when I see the very stupid things that I do in other people. There's, my stupidity manifests in others offends me violently, apparently. And so today, what I want to say is this. God expects to see what he has put in us come out of us. And I think the world deserves to see what God has put in you come out of you, church. But daily, we're handed circumstances like this. We're handed bad information, bad news. We're handed trying circumstances. And the only way, Paul says, that the fruit of the Spirit comes out of us. The thing that God put in us coming out of us is if we'll submit to that very Spirit. So when we're handed information and it's trying or it offends us, we can run it through a filter of our flesh or we can run it through the filter of His Spirit. I need no training in running it through the filter of my flesh. That was obvious just a few minutes ago. But you know, when I take a moment and I recognize that He put something in me, He put His very Spirit in me and that man needed to see his spirit and love and Jesus expects that from me. So if I'm going to allow the thing that he put in me to come out of me, I have to submit to his spirit. Got to run it through that filter. So the older man that today heard my horn, let me just confess, I'm sorry that you heard my horn. You didn't hear that horn quite as violently as it was going off in my head, but you still heard it. So I'm a work in progress and I'm sorry. I ask you to pray for me because I'm just going to try to do better next time. In church, when you have opportunity, run it through his, his spirit's filter versus your flesh's filter. I encourage that you let the world see what he put in you by allowing his spirit to come out of you. Let's do better next time. Man, thank you for that, that uh, convicting word. Um, <laughs> I found that my level of holiness goes down the longer I honk my horn. I, I, I think... The short honks are okay, but more flesh is evident in the long honks. So, Road uh, rage. So, yeah, so I'll have to deal with that myself today. Hey, thanks for joining us this morning. I want to remind you that we're back online this Sunday, 10 a.m. for our Mount Juliet campus, 1045 for Two Rivers. And then on the 26th of July, we're so excited. That is the day that we're going to be able to be back in our buildings. 
You're going to get information about that. It's going to be a great time together. So for this weekend, hope you have a great weekend, and we look forward to seeing you online Sunday morning.